Happy New Year. It's 2022. Um, I'm recording this the eve of Christmas Eve. So by the time you see it, it will be either New Year's Day or the day after. And I'm really excited to share with you my very first Dollar Tree haul in 2022, which I hope brings all of us much health, prosperity, most importantly, well-being mentally, physically, and spiritually. I wish that to all of us. I don't want to get into a whole lot of negative talk about the state of the universe, but I can definitely say that I hope that everyone who is watching my video, every single human, takes just one second to wish humanity and this planet a great year, because we really need it as a civilization. Now, after having said all of that craziness, I just want to get into my Dollar Tree haul. The first things that I want to share with you guys are these totes. I know there's another one floating around here somewhere, um, not sure where, that has puppies all over it, but I do have the Red Truck Valentine Day tote that I actually used coming out of the store. Is this bag not absolutely gorgeous? I used it. Its side panel is gingham, pink and white. It's so pretty, and I love this psychedelic print. I mean, I could actually carry this bag year round. I could see me going to the beach with this bag. I love it. And the side panel is just pink, but it is so just retro. It's very 60s. I love this print. It's psychedelic. It's literally like a psychedelic. Look, I, it actually matches my wreath. Um, my wreath says, welcome. I got it a long time ago in a Michael's grab bag box. So honestly, it's like we just move so quickly as I start to open things up and buy things. I want to use them. So... I decorated my window and took the Christmas down already at the window, but the rest of the house is still Christmas. Um, yeah, so I got these Valentine's Day bags. There is one more that I think could, I just don't know where I put it. I found it, you guys. Pugs and Kisses, five cents, be my meow in time. This is going to be my friend Kathy's Valentine gift bag. How adorable is that? And the inseam of it is hearts isn't it pretty i love this bag so adorable the next things i want to share with you guys are by the designer madison tyler and actually her jewelry i think is sold in kohl's i want to say i'm not sure where she sold but she this is an actual brand name that is sold for more than a dollar or a buck and a quarter i actually did pay a dollar and a quarter for these but I definitely thought they were worth it. They are so cute. They're made with grow grain ribbon, this like unicorn clip with this rainbow. I bought two of them for my nieces. It actually has the unicorn horn. They do have the alligator clip. And I think that they are really, really adorable. Aren't those adorable hair clips for a dollar and a quarter for a little girl? Absolutely fantastic. Then I picked up these for myself. I think these are outstanding butterfly clips. I actually love little clips like this, but these are so gorgeous. Just look at, they have like the little hole in them, but they're like sheer and co the color is like behind it. So they, they really like pick up light really well. I wish I could convey how well made they are. They're really well made. And I bought two packs because I do like to wear my hair up sometimes parted down the middle and clip it up on either end so I need matching clips to do that and uh, yeah something like that you guys have seen me do it before but in the summer I do it a lot and you need you know if the clips don't match it just doesn't look good so and I do actually wear my hair like that often I just don't do it on my YouTube channel because I'm always touching my hair and messing things up but I fix it a lot when I'm just around and on my own but I love I actually only found two packs, but I felt really lucky because I remember I saw someone else hold these and I remember thinking, oh boy, I hope when I find those, I find at least two so I can wear them in my hair and I can match them to my outfits. And I just think that this color selection is outstanding, but I absolutely love these the most. Really, really love those. Then they had several scunchies and I bought these for my friend Kathy 
and some other friends of mine they came in like four packs look at these colors they came in four packs and five packs um, and two packs I didn't pick up that many two packs but velvet two packs that are glittery yeah those had to go in the cart but this four pack is velvet and metallic it's just a better deal but these were a little bigger and because they had glitter I don't know because they had this gorgeous black one I had to pick it up I picked up quite an assortment to send gifts and stuff to people in the future I absolutely love these with the pearls I think they're gorgeous even if you just put them on your wrist they're beautiful they're just beautiful and then I showed you guys that other four pack but here we have a five pack and it has this fabulous metallic one in it these are so so pretty and I know that the people I give these to are going to go crazy for them I showed these in my walkthrough so long ago and I wanted to give them as Christmas gifts but I didn't get around to it but that's okay because I could give them to some of my friends as Valentine's Day gifts or Mother's Day gifts they will get given out I they had these five packs as well I really love them a lot I don't use things like this because my hair is really thin, but then there were some other amazing finds that I could not resist. Look at this scunchie. Now, I don't like scunchies in my hair, but this scunchie is so big and it's bandana print, which I absolutely love bandana print. But the thing that I love about this one is that it's so big. It's so big that it actually gives my hair like a little oomph which I sort of like. It, it's got like a really cool retro. I love it. I will totally wear this in the summer and walk around like I am so fabulous. I just love that. Can you believe that was a buck and a quarter, you guys? Oh, I found this and I love this color. So I was really happy to pick this one up. I think it's gorgeous. It's very old like 1940s I don't know I just I feel like it's like a pillbox hat almost I just love it so beautiful really well made they're lined and the tipping is lined they're absolutely gorgeous I love them absolutely love them and I picked up one for a friend as well then I only found one of this braided faux leather I love this one it is so outstanding. I absolutely love this faux leather one. It's also spectacular for the summer months or actually even now. It's like off-white. It's very, very pretty. And I think it complements my hair color too. So I love that. If I had found more, I would have picked up some for friends of these. They're gorgeous. Then I do have some more scunchies that are in velvet, which they have the little wire bow so you can like adjust them. They're really pretty. Three different velvet colors for a dollar and a quarter. Very pretty. And here's like a pinks and mauves three pack. Gorgeous as well. And here we have a three pack of pinks and browns with the pearls. Also for gifts. Gorgeous. And here is a five pack of cotton stretchy. Just really classic scrunchies but very well made cotton ones with ribbing, five for a dollar and a quarter, a great, great value. And then here's a fun assortment. We have one velvet with the wire in a fantastic color, one velvet tie-dye one, and one pink ribbed one. Great little gift to put up and save for presents or birthday, at, like if you buy your friend maybe an outfit or a necklace, you can toss this in as an extra little birthday gift. I just think that those make great add-ins to gifts. And then, and then for my friend Kathy, who has ultra long, ultra thick hair, there's this absolutely beautiful headband. And this could be worn in the front or it could be worn at the bottom. And I'm sure she would wear this at the bottom because it, she likes to have a thick, wide band. This is perfect for her and a beautiful color. And I also found her this mustard, which will look so beautiful with her hair color and her skin tone. She's going to love this one. That's a gift for her as well. Great, great buy at a dollar and a quarter. Also, I just love, love, love all of these hair finds. I do have to admit that this is my favorite. 
these are just so darling and although you get four and four is you know if you're maybe doing a french twist or something you could use these in place of bobby pins but i usually don't need more than two so i kind of feel like this is like the sisterhood of the traveling clips because you can you know, like use two for yourself and then share two with a friend <laughs> like you know how like they make those bff forever kids bracelets this is like the adult version of them like i'll take two clips and you take two clips and or i'll take one clip and you take a clip and then pass it on because i definitely don't need four but i mean who could ask for anything more uh, a pair for yourself and a pair for a friend for a dollar and a quarter that's a great buy as well i'm wearing this like casual sequin top it actually kind of looks cute with these um little beaded clips i did find these at my dollar tree and what these are they're calling them watering water glasses i don't know if you guys have ever seen them i kind of love these you get five for a dollar and a quarter which is you know not the cheapest thing in the world but they're delightful to make pudding in you can make like little yogurt parfaits in these or pudding and then you put some granola or ground up uh, graham cracker crust I like to make like pudding scoop some in grind up some graham crackers put a layer of graham crackers so they get mushy ushy and gushy and delicious and then put some more pistachio pudding and then put a cherry that's my way of making like a fancy dessert <laughs> but it does look cute in a cup like this and although it's just instant pudding it makes it really cute in these little cups for a buck and a quarter and it actually tastes really good i did pick up i did pick up this literally adorable kissing booth 25 cents per kiss sign ticket looking thing it's like a ticket for kisses it is so adorable this is just indicative of where the dollar tree is headed i think i think they're really stepping up their game this sign is not flimsy it is so darn cute and of course if you don't like its content you can flip it over and do something else with it look at that shape with the cute little like marquee sign looking shape i just think this is gorgeous i really love it and i love valentine's day decor i truly do so i just love the black white and red classic happy love theme to it and it's hard to resist it although i am going to be resisting a lot of the valentine's day decor but i am psychotically on the hunt for those gnomes you guys i've seen people buying them and they're those people are not me included the gorgeous valentine's day gnomes need to live here in this house as well i would have loved to have ordered a few cases of those so that i could give them to the shelters for valentine's day but no dice they sold out in a few hours have you guys seen this tree this tree is stupendous what i think i'm going to do with this it's actually not um, a tabletop decor piece. It's blank on the backside. It is a hanging sign. But I kind of love the idea of when I do find the gnomes, because I will at any cost find those gnomes if I have to buy them at Facebook, destashing, wherever, whatever it takes to get those into my world. But I'm going to wait it out a little. It's still early. They're just putting out Valentine. But I don't know, guys. I don't know because I never found the coffee cup light up item or the hot cocoa cup light up item and I waited it out and waited it out and I swore it was coming and it never did so sometimes you just don't find things some things they just get away from us and it's usually the thing that I really want that I can't find I find everything else but anyway I'm gonna get those gnomes and they're gonna be hanging out next to this love tree I love the love tree with the owl isn't it adorable so I'm gonna put I'm either gonna glue off of some other because I always take the backings off of like picture frames and stuff that I've turned into windows and things I'm sure you guys maybe have seen that where you take four picture frames and you glue them together and you make them into a window I've done DIYs like that so I have the little back piece I think I'm gonna glue it onto here so that it can become like a table decor or you could always just put some Jenga blocks on it but I think the picture frame stander upper leg arm stander thing whatever that thing is called um, 
will work perfectly for this and it could become like a little tabletop thing and you could decorate all around it because I love this love tree. I wish it was double-sided. If they had made this sign double-sided, it would be so cute to like pop on your, if it had like a little, you know what I mean, like a little extra thing, like you go like this, you could technically buy another one and nah, you couldn't, it would be too complicated. But if they just had like a little add-on piece that you scissored over here so it could stand and it was double-sided, it would be so cute to put it on like your kitchen counter and put like treats around it or whatever. It's just so adorable. It's sparkly. It doesn't have a lot of fallout. I just think it's amazing. I think this is so gorgeous for a buck and a quarter. This brand of dryer sheets has my heart. That's like the theme, heart, Valentine's, but it has my heart. Um, they're really incredibly scented. The Sweet Pea Blossom, I have bought before and I rebought it and then I caught a whiff of this French lavender and you guys, it smells delightful. It doesn't even really smell like lavender, it smells like, I don't know, heavenly, just so, so nice. These are really nice, really nicely scented, but I have used I can attest to this. They both have 40 in them, right? Right. Yeah, they both have 40 in them. Um, there is one other fragrance, which I can't think of, that I've tried, but I haven't been able to find more of it. But the Sweet Pea Blossom, I could tell you 100%, 100%, you don't even need a handful. Sometimes when they don't work that great, I'll put like three or four in. You really just need one. And you put it in the dryer and your laundry comes out smelling incredible. Of course, I do have so many of those... Um, oops from the downy unstoppables oops bottles that my laundry comes out of the washing machine smelling amazing so these are just an added bonus but i love that i love when i go to my my clothes and it's like a couple weeks after i've washed them and i go to put them on and they still smell like incredibly well done laundry that makes me crazy happy it makes my heart happy and i'm going to use the word heart so many times you guys can turn it into a new year's eve drinking game if you want <laughs> I have some rebuys in this haul. My son loves these. These Wanabana, non-GMO, no sugar added, gluten-free, three packs of these like smoothie kind of things. I, I really thought that they wouldn't like this fruit puree type of snacks. I wasn't sure if my son was gonna like these or not. I knew my husband wasn't gonna like them. I knew I was gonna love them. They basically taste like baby food, but my son was like, I'm gonna stick them in the freezer. And he took it to a whole new level. They're awesome, awesome frozen. They really taste like high-end froze fruit. And apple banana tastes good like that. I picked up some mango banana. We've already tried them and love them. And my son's absolute favorite is the pineapple banana. So every time I see these, I scoop up two or three of them because they're flying out of the house and they're actually a really good deal for a dollar and a quarter, this is a good quality product. A rebuy for me are some of these Harry and David Classic Caramel Popcorn Moose Crunch. We'll be chowing down on those, watching the countdown on the TV later for New Year's. Um, but by the time you see this, it'll already be the new year. And I did pick up some of the milk chocolate. These are so yummy. Really, you can taste that they are also not a cheap product. I love when I find delectable, higher quality stuff at the Dollar Tree for a really affordable price. Even at a dollar and a quarter, although those are small, they're definitely cheaper than they would be somewhere else. And I think that's awesome. Uh, this bag has some food finds in it, so I'm just gonna share it really quickly. Um, I do pick this up quite often. I don't always share it, but I do want to make a mention of it because I do love it, actually. It's not healthy, but it's fruit juice cocktail, not from concentrate. This is not the greatest thing in the world. It's not super healthy, but it, I do think it's better than drinking soda. And I have given up soda. And sometimes when I'm dying for a kind of sweet beverage, I don't like to drink fake sugar. It's not good for me. It, may, it kind of upsets my stomach. Um, I do every once in a while try, buy these and love them. They're like my own treats. Buy Florida's Natural Premium Fruit Splash Juice Fruit Juice Cocktail. Like I said, they're, they're 210 calories, 
for one bottle, they do have sugar in them, and they're just, a, I think they're like 12% juice, or they're only 15% juice, but sometimes it's still better than drinking a soda, so I do like to pick up a few of those every once in a while since I've given up soda, which, by the way, is part of my New Year's resolution to never drink soda anymore, and I'm doing really well. I haven't, I've only had like a soda in like, three or four weeks, which is really good for me. Um, and I did buy a bunch more of these So Natural freeze-dried bananas. You guys, these are delicious, just delicious. You could put them in your oatmeal, you could drop some in your cereal, or you could just eat them just like that as a crunchy, delicious freeze-dried snack of banana yumminess. They're so good. I did get some chicken with rice soup all of a sudden, the boys like chicken with rice instead of chicken noodle. I don't know what that's about, but these are the 30% bigger cans. The canned food is actually still a dollar at the Dollar Tree, so that's exciting. I don't remember ever seeing this before at the Dollar Tree, and it turns out my husband likes it. Um, the Healthy Choice Country Vegetable. I saw it in Connecticut, and then I had never noticed it in New York. Maybe I just never thought he would like it, but... Um, it's healthy choice, so it has less uh, salt in it. It's a 15 ounce can, but honestly, it has less salt and it has a good source of fiber. It's definitely healthier than the Campbell's soup and he actually likes it. So I picked up six cans of this because I was so happy that he'll actually eat that. I did pick up a bag of this Salt 84 Himalayan pink salt, fine, gr finely ground and you don't have to put it in a grinder, obviously. You can put it right in a shaker. And I just think that at a dollar and a quarter, this is a great deal. It doesn't expire until 2026. I do tend to pick it up. I picked it up in Connecticut for $1 instead of a dollar and a quarter. But even at a dollar and a quarter, when I see the one pound bag, I still always pick up a bag. It's good to even soak your feet in. It has medicinal purposes as well as food grade purposes. It's obviously meant to be eaten. I did pick up these two Nuckies brand name pop grip stands and I wanted to haul them before the holidays because I was going to give one to my mother-in-law but I'll give her uh, it after. Obviously I could give it to her for Valentine's. Um, I just totally forgot about them but aren't they so cool? This one is actual pony skin which is expensive usually. It's real. It's so weird that it would be at the Dollar Tree but it's really nice so I had to get that. And then I'm obsessed with this. Like, I literally love it. I want to glue it to my car so I could, like, the gear shift and use it on the gear shift to relax myself in traffic. It's just so fun to do that. I love that. This is also a rebuy for me. This was around last year, and I really love it. It's a holographic scratch art pad. You get 50 pieces of this paper for a dollar and a quarter. Last year, obviously, you got it for a dollar. And you get one of those scratch things, the little pencils, which I just think is so cool because when you write what you want to write on it, um, it shows it in holographic print. And I just think it's really fun. You get 50 pieces of this paper, and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. You don't have to do anything amazing with it. You could just like play tic-tac-toe with someone even if you want. But I think that we're going to write our New Year's resolutions on there. Isn't that cool though how it's holographic? I love it. And uh, obviously my New Year's resolution was to declutter. And I'm well on my way to starting that. I've changed up my furniture because I feel like our house is too small for the size furniture that we used to have. And now I'm getting a smaller sofa, but there's my attempt to make like a cool looking heart. I'm no artist, but I think the world needs more love and I'm gonna try to spread more love in the world where I think it will do good. And it's important that we leave things in a better place than the way we found them. And my resolution is to do more of that this year. I just feel like if we do no harm, then we will end up in a better place next year than we are this year as a, as, as a whole, like our society. So me and the boys, we're gonna do that at dinner, which is happening very soon. I didn't cook dinner. I went to the Italian 
delicatessen and I bought a bunch of stuff that we're gonna have a smorgasbord with, but I cooked nothing. I had like a whole day of decluttering and getting a whole lot of stuff out of here. I'm changing things around and I'm really excited for the coming year and what's to come. I also kind of have accepted that if we don't get to move right now, which is what I really wanted, I have to be happy in the moment. I have to be happy where I am. <laughs> I really want to move, but it seems like there's a lot of things that are kind of obstacles at this moment. Like I wanted to have moved before my son started high school and we weren't supposed to still be here, but we are. So I've kind of made this resolution to not necessarily accept that I can't make a change because if I want to move, I can move like heaven on earth and get myself out of here. But I kind of feel like it's important to take a breath, accept where you're at, and make a decision to enjoy the moment that you're in. Because sometimes we get so wrapped up in thinking about the future or dwelling on the past that we forget to really and truly enjoy the moment that we're in. So I've, like I said, gotten rid of my clunky furniture that never fit into this house. And I have been downsizing and getting cute little kitschy bungalow style furniture that works for my home. And I'm starting to get really happy at the way that it's starting to give me a little more space. It is very, very cramped in here, but it's giving me hope that we can coexist a little while longer in this teeny tiny house. I did pick up this bonus pack of Paper Mate pens. They're red ink, but I kind of love that. I love everything about them. They're Paper Mate. I like to write in red ink. I'm not necessarily sending anything out that's important with the red ink, but I enjoy writing in colors and I absolutely love red. Here's another super delish snack alert. These sweet and savory bar mix Imperial Nuts are a rebuy. They have um, peanuts, they're like honey roasted and smoked, I'm trying to remember what's in here. They have smoked almonds, toffee peanuts, they have some teeny tiny pretzels which are actually very tasty and they have spicy peanuts and honey roasted peanuts. I've already had two bags of these. They're delicious. I love nuts, but this one is like, it kicks all the boxes. It's like spicy, it's like savory. It's really, a, it's deli really delicious. They're 150 calories for one ounce and this is a four ounce bag. So it's not like it's a super low calorie healthy snack, but it's again, healthier than other things you could eat. I did pick up a couple of these spatula cookie cutter combos. First of all, the Dollar Tree usually sells a spatula for a dollar, but I guess now that they're a dollar and a quarter, they decided to up their ante, but I do think that these are cute little add-ins to Valentine's. I also found the Valentine um, cupcake tins again, and I thought it would be cute to put this together and give it to a couple of people as gifts, but um, in all honesty, this is good to drop your eggs in. Like on Valentine's Day, if you're gonna fry up some eggs, you can drop your egg right in here, cook it in the frying pan and make a heart-shaped egg. You know, you don't always have to use cookie cutters for cookie cutters. I'm not a baker. I tried to make brownies the other day and I gave myself, do you guys see that like awful looking third degree burn I gave myself on my knuckle? I did, it's like blistered and crazy, which is why when my uh, sticker polish fell off. I just polished my fingernails with um, complementary colors instead of trying to use nail polish remover to get the glue off because it'll end up burning my burn. So I didn't want to mess with it. But um, yeah, my nails are a little grubby because these stickers have been on for a while, but I'm not messing with them right now because I do have a crazy burn. Baking is not my forte, which is why I use the cookie cutters <laughs> to shape my eggs in the frying pan. That I'm good at. But spatulas are not, I mean, I can make brownies. Obviously I use spatulas for things like that, but I still manage to burn myself. I do think they're a great buy and they do make cute little gifts. These Dental Guru charcoal infused floss picks are a phenomenal buy. You get 75 for a dollar and a quarter. I actually bought these when they were a dollar, but these are peppermint flavored, eco-friendly handles made from cornstarch, so they're biodegradable. I mean, everything about this is a smiley face for the planet and for our teeth, so I really, really love that. That's a phenomenal deal for a dollar. 
I saw these way before Christmas and I really meant to stick them in some people's stockings as stocking stuffers, but like I said, I'll share them for Valentine's. It's a silicone bag light. I think this is such a smart idea. So they do come in um, gray as well. I don't think I picked the gray one up. I picked up a blue one, a pink one, and a clear white one. But yeah, they also had gray. I'll show you guys the, the clear one. I'm gonna keep for myself. And the other two are gifts. But basically you hang it on the strap of your purse like that and then it hangs inside of your purse and then when you need to look for something you can find it but you could also hang this um maybe oh it's also blinking if you're having maybe some kind of an emergency i don't know what that would do but um i was thinking that you could hang it in your car as well um so i have a jeep wrangler and when you turn the lights off when you turn the engine off in a jeep wrangler the overhead lights don't work and so I'm always thinking of things like that like to shine light when I drop something or whatever but I just think that this is a really amazing little thing to have in your bag sometimes it's dark and you can't find anything or I don't know it's just the coolest thing to be able to just attach it and it does have this like silicone strap that works actually very well surprisingly extremely well you just squeeze it through and it holds on it's an amazing little thing for a buck and like I said I actually bought these before the or I guess if you're a jogger you can attach them to your sneakers if you're jogging on the road so people could see you there's a lot of you can attach it to your bicycle this is like blinking I don't want people to get triggered by that but it's just actually a very good buy and it's a very bright light Turns out I did buy the gray one as well. So, oh yeah, yeah, because I did have a few people I wanted to share these with. So they came in gray, pink, blue, and clear, and I think they're brilliant. Um, I did pick up some Hershey's bars with almonds because they were supposed to go in stockings, but like I said, this is a haul that got away from me. You guys know that this happens to me. <laughs> I picked this up for my son. Not that he's a huge sports fanatic or Giants fanatic. I just picked it up for him because he can attach it to his backpack and then when he wants to use his um, key for his locker, he could just detach it from the lanyard. It's actually very convenient. The one that he currently has doesn't have that and he's always taking it off of his backpack and putting the whole thing back on. This is very time-saving and convenient so i'm just going to give this to him and it's going to make his life so much easier but they do have these and if let's say you have to scan your id or something at work you can attach this to it and it detaches that's so awesome i love little gadgets like that that are time saving little pickups great deal for a, at the time that i bought this it was no i think it was a dollar and a quarter i don't even know anymore but even in a dollar and a quarter i think this is ingenious and these are actually licensed NFL products. So if you do have a Giants fan on your hands, they'll love this. My son doesn't care one way or the other, but it's good for what he is going to use it for. I picked up some more at 50% off of these little velvet bows because I just have kind of hoarded them. I love the red that they are. I feel like they're so useful. Also, up there where I put my garland on my window, I think it would be cute to add them in the corners little bows with the hearts i just think that these are super valentine's -y. and i bought them when they were a dollar i bought them when they were a dollar and a quarter and now i picked up a few of them at 50 cents each i actually have a whole bag of 50 cents items that i'll probably share in my next video there is so much 50 cent merchandise at the dollar tree right now that it's crazy at least in my area the christmas stuff was in abundance when christmas ended because I feel like the Dollar Trees wanted to make the most amount of money that they could. So they held out releasing the merchandise until it became a dollar and a quarter. And it might have backfired on them. Because I noticed that after they raised their prices, the lines were never there. The stores were not packed in my area. And although some stores did clear out, those were the stores that had Christmas out way earlier and didn't bring on like a fourth wave of Christmas. All the stores that brought out this fourth wave of Christmas post raising of the price, they are now 
fully stocked with 50 cent clearance items. And if I had space for everything, I would be, I wish I could buy like 500 stockings right now for 250 bucks and save them until next year. But honestly, I just don't have the space. I did pick up the Valentine's rugs. Now, I'm not gonna say that the, I actually really, really like this one. I did not see this one at first. When I first saw the Valentine's rugs, I saw them in Connecticut at a dollar a piece. And I saw these two, which are not my favorites, but I picked up both of them. One, to share them with you guys, and two, because they're still cute for the dogs to lay on. Um, I love my dogs, but they ruin everything. So I'd rather they ruin this little mat, because anytime I put any rug on the floor, they do tear it up. I've come to accept that that's just the way it is in my house. And it's winter, so I do like to have rugs and mats on the floor. A lot of the time I have to pick my rugs and mats up and throw them over furniture when the dogs are just loose and running around or I'm not paying attention. It's absolute bedlam in my house, I have to be honest. My dogs rule this house. But so I was happy to pick these up. I do think that the XOXO one is kind of cute to put outside. And or the, they're okay, they're not amazing. Um, I'm not obsessed with the colors that they chose. But I have to say that when I saw this one, when I came back to New York, I realized why this one was sold out. This one is adorable. So I'm sticking this one outside over my rugs right now so that um, I do like layering and I think it's just cute. It's a $1 Valentine's rug, great deal. And I'm gonna put these around the house for the dogs. They do actually have like a little bit of grippy glue to them, so they don't slide all over the floor, at least not in my home. I know some people say that they do. Um, I find that they actually do grip. They have like a glue on the back of them that does kind of grip to the ground, and the dogs just kind of find, like it's sort of like, if I don't want the dogs to be in the same place and arguing, I'll drop one here, and I'll drop one in the other room, and then somehow one dog will go and plop themselves on one, and one dog and go, will go and plop themselves on the other, and now I know that they're not gonna be fighting or killing each other. So that's kind of what got me to buy those. Despite the fact that I didn't think they were gorgeous, they're kind of practical for my purposes at such a low price, but I love the striped one. The striped one kind of reminds me of, the striped one is sort of Victoria's Secret-ish. I really like it. And I think it's really cute. I love that the lines are like all wonky. I don't know, I just really like it. I think it's really cute. And then I did get this sign that says, I like you a lot. And every time I pick this sign up, I start singing that song. Who sang that song? I like it, I like it a lot, yes. I don't know even if I'm singing it right. It's not even necessarily a song that I loved. Or was it, it's not CC Catch. Gosh. Maybe it was, I like, or maybe I like you. Hey, you over there. I think those are the words. I don't even know, but I'm singing it in my head. Like every time I saw this sign and I've seen it like in a few stores, every time I see it, I'm like, it's the, I like you. I like you a lot sign. So I, I had to buy it because it makes me sing in my head. I'm gonna put this up. I just think it's so cute. It's like, it's not screaming like I do. It's like, I like you a lot. It's so cute. Isn't it cute? This cute little container was in the 50 cent clearance. It's plastic. Did you guys hear how it closes? Yep, it closes phenomenally. I don't know where in the world it came from. I never saw it during the holiday season, but it's like almost perfect for Valentine's as well. I just love it. It's going to be in my valentine gingerbread world because i'm gonna sort of add some hearts to my gingerbread world and make it valentine's ish in transition and this sugar bowl belongs there isn't it so cute i really like this silly like it's just such a silly little plastic purchase but again it makes my heart happy every time i see it i would have bought a few of these had i seen them but i just found one for 50 cents snatched that up very quickly, I really, really like it. I think it's so old school adorable. I did buy some of this coconut oil Azul cooking spray. I don't like the other cooking sprays that Dollar Tree sells. That's up to, you know, personal preference, but I don't do canola oil. I do like this one, it's coconut oil, supposedly. 
Um, it does say that it contains vegetable oil and it doesn't specify which one. I'm gonna use it and if it doesn't give me an allergic reaction, I'm gonna continue to use it. But I did used to love the other coconut cooking spray that the Dollar Tree used to carry and they don't have it anymore. So I'm looking to see if this is good because I like to use the coconut spray for baking. Then possibly my very favorite items that I found at the Dollar Tree the last few weeks are these Tom's soaps. You guys, and I've gotten every scent and I'm so happy to say that I am obsessed. Now I have heard people say that they're not filled to the top. I don't know that that means that they're not um, actually 12 ounces. I haven't poured them out and measured, but I think I will actually. I'm curious to see if they, cause you know, a lot of people say a lot of things about the Dollar Tree and I have seen multiple people saying that the, they look like they're empty, but how do we know that the container wasn't just bigger and maybe that's why it ended up at the Dollar Tree because when it was in the store, people were like, oh, you know what, this is a jip but it could actually be 12 ounces worth of product in there. We don't know. So I'm gonna do a little test and I'm gonna stick it in this video. So for once and for all, we can find out if there are 12 ounces in here or not. But I'm gonna see what I mean. It's not full. It's like far from full. It's literally the soap is at the label. But I don't know if that means that there aren't 12 ounces. Maybe there are, but anyhow, I'm not gonna say it again. You guys know what I mean. Um, it comes in fresh apple. Tom's sells for a lot more than a dollar, you guys. So I got this in Connecticut and I paid a dollar for it. I was thrilled. I did not pay a dollar for this one. I paid a buck and a quarter and I bought five of these because I love peppermint. I actually even use this as a body wash today. That's how much I love peppermint. It's hand soap. I use it as body wash and I still liked it. And I'm just gonna be honest, I did it because I love peppermint. I love it. I absolutely love This soap is amazing. It's very, very nice. Really smells incredible. Um, I did pick up Rose, Soft Rose, and I'm going to be gifting that. I am not a super Rose fan. It's just not my thing. In fact, I had that Rose, Forever Rose company ask me if I wanted to do a video for them. I really wanted to do it so I could gift the roses to someone, but I can't bring myself to do the video because I just don't know how to be... I don't know how to lie and I don't love roses so it's just not my forte but I would love if they would let me have them and say I'm so excited to gift this to someone who likes roses they're going to love it and I asked the lady but she never got back to me so I guess I won't be doing that video um, they are really beautiful roses it, I just don't like the scent of roses and they're not my favorite thing then the prebiotic uh, moisturizing hand soap in the scent of blood orange by Tom's you guys this is like a high quality fragrance. I have to smell it again, in fact, because it's so good. It doesn't smell like your typical citrus. It's, uh, it smells like, I don't know, it smells crazy good. Hold on a minute. It smells so good. It just smells so good. It really, really does. Um, it smells sweet. It has like a sweet citrus scent that just doesn't smell like inexpensive orange scented anything. It's really, really, really a nice fragrance. And then the lavender is marvelous. So all five of these are a great buy. Um, some are closer to my heart than others, but honestly, they all are great. A great, if, you're, if you only find one in your store, don't pass it up. That's my advice. Like I first saw the rose, in the co in the Connecticut store and I was like, oh, rats, it's the rose scented, but I'm still gonna buy one because it's probably really great. So then when I saw the other ones, I was really happy, but they didn't have the peppermint, but I still picked up all four scents because good quality soap, we definitely all need soap right now. We all have to wash our hands more than ever. It's a great gift. It's just a really great item to get at an inexpensive price. And Tom's is a trusted brand name. I did also pick up two of these adorable buckets. I think they're already bringing in some Easter items. I think these are for Easter, but I picked up two because I love this color and I'm probably going to actually fill these for Easter baskets for the boys with all kinds of fun things between now and Easter because that's just how I roll and they'll get their big old tubs full of goodies and snacks and socks and shaving products and who else 
knows what else will come down the pike of the Dollar Tree, but I'll put them in the back of my closet and I'll just start filling these for the boys. And then I'll take the baskets away and use them to plant in over the summer because that's why I got this cute color, obviously. They don't need baskets. Then I did find this Caribbean inspired jerk world taco kit. I know there are like two other flavors floating around there and I hope that this is not super spicy because the other ones look like they won't be spicy, but I still decided to buy just one. No, I bought two of them. I bought two actually because they do come with the soft flour tacos, which are really good anyway. So I bought two just in case I do like it. And if I don't, I could just use the tacos and the taco shells and make my own tacos. But what this comes with is a phenomenal deal. You get 10 taco shells. Let me show you guys what's in here. You get, you get the 10 taco shells and they're the fluffy, fat, pretty unhealthy flour taco shells that are delicious by Old El Paso. They really are good. And this one comes with the jerk seasoning mix and it comes with a pineapple pepper sauce. So if you've tried this and you know if it's crazy spicy, let me know in advance because I won't even, maybe I'll just pass them on or I'll pass on the seasoning without even opening it. I don't want to waste it if I don't have to, but I definitely can't do super spicy. And speaking of not super duper spicy, these are not super duper spicy. They're kind of delicious. So I did a rebuy of these. Um, the Aztec's Revenge Cayenne Montezuma's Vengeance Mexican style hot sauce. Not crazy, crazy spicy. I like it. It sounds a lot more killer than it is. And this one, I love. I like that one. I love this one. Garlic Ancient Flame Mexican style hot sauce. Really yummy. Not crazy spicy at all. Almost not spicy. Really yummy. Really like both of those products. So I just bought one more of each of them because it's nice to have hot sauce good to season and liven things up a little. I did buy a bunch of CDs recently, but they're not here in the bags. I don't know where they are, but they're somewhere, maybe in the car still. This Keep Calm and Carry On is all classical music. I'll just see if I can show you guys what's on here. Lots and lots of beautiful classical music. And I bought this for a friend of mine who just had a baby because I thought that that would be a really good gift to put in a mommy basket keep calm and carry on is perfect to send someone as a mommy a new mommy gift with a bunch of baby things that i picked up and then here comes the sun songs for summer entertaining oh my god this d this cd i almost said dvd sorry guys this cd is delightful on this cd is here comes the sun oh what a night you guys know oh what a night and then it has sweet city woman then it has, we're here for a good time, not a long time. You guys know that song. I'm singing it in my head. Cherry Cherry, you guys know that song. Daydream Believer, everybody knows that one. Um, Obla D, Obla Da. How fun is it to drive to this CD? This is like the perfect driving CD. You make loving fun, hooked on a feeling. Hello, happy driving music. Um, Crocodile Rock, love Elton John. Uh, I'm into something good. Oh, I love that song too. Sweet Caroline, another super happy song that I love. The kids in the college that were law students used to always play Sweet Caroline when I used to own my bar. So that brings back super memories for me. Happy Together and Cecilia. What a happy, happy CD to play while driving. I love this. It's called Here Comes the Song, Songs for Summer Entertaining. It speaks to my soul. I really am a summer, summer person because <laughs> I didn't even think of that as like summer music, but I read the back of it and I was like, oh my God, I need this CD. It's going to breathe happiness into me. And just thinking about these songs makes me feel like I'm in a summer party. I did get a bunch of long sleeve. Um, actually, this one is huge. It's a 2XL, but it's really, really big. And I bought it for myself to sleep in. It's a 2XL Hanes long sleeve shirt. But if I don't feel like sleeping in it, I love this color. I could always just cut the neck and I could wear it as a shirt with a belt and a skirt. I love to do that to these crew neck. I don't do crew necks in case you guys haven't figured it out. But it's very easy to cut the neck into a neckline like this. 
super easy. It's also really easy to cut a piece of the sleeve out if you want to make it a cold shoulder shirt. You can do a lot of things with t-shirts, and I do do it a lot, actually. Um, a few holes ago, I was wearing a plaid shirt that everybody was complimenting, and I meant to mention that I turned it into a cold shoulder shirt. It was just an old, like, plaid shirt that I cut the sleeves out of. It's so easy to do it. Really easy, and it, like, completely changes the garment. Very fun to try it out with something that only costs a dollar. I paid a dollar and a quarter for this, but still, it's fun if you make a mistake and you ruin it. It's not the end of the world. You could still sleep in it. I did find a jackpot of makeup in Connecticut. Um, I haven't brought it all inside, but I do have these here by Milani. And do you guys see, I actually bought them in all the colors, but they're not in these bags. Um, no, I'm sorry. I actually saw Queen's Life show them in an additional color. I only found them in pink and this blue highlight, which I don't have the pink here. She found them in a, I think it was like a purpley. It was like a third in the pink family, pink or purpley color. This is so pretty though. Do you guys see this Milani highlight is gorgeous. I suspect that I will probably use this highlight as eyeshadow because usually the blue highlights look a little over the top for me unless I'm wearing blue velvet. If I'm wearing blue velvet, blue highlighter looks really nice on me. Um, but only only to those like, wow, I can't even get it open. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so gorgeous. As a highlight, let's see. Yeah, I think it's just... Uh, I, I could put it on... I, I, I think I always put the highlight when it's blue too far into here. It's only cute when it's like right here on me. But as an eyeshadow, yes, yes, yes. I think that would be fantastic. Loving. Oh yeah, love that. See what I mean, you guys? This is like a simple, easy-peasy eyeshadow. I absolutely love it. I totally love it as eyeshadow. And let me, oh, I love, I just want to slather this all over the place. That's the highlight. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it is definitely a pretty highlighter, but also beautiful eyeshadow. And the packaging is phenomenal. Absolutely loving that. And in Connecticut, this was, oh no, the store I found them in actually had the prices gone up. One store I found some makeup in was a dollar, but this was a dollar and a quarter, but even at a dollar and a quarter, a great, great buy. The last item that I have to share with you guys is this gorgeous, 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 I love it, Poster Child, that's the name of it, Palette by Wet n Wild. Do you guys see these colors? They're so, speaking of fun, summer fun, that's what we have here. This is such a beautiful palette. I am literally in love with these colors. I don't know, maybe I don't even know how to wear them. Maybe I don't even rock colors like this, but when I see a palette, this reminds me of the Aphrodisiac palette When I by Hard Candy. When I see a palette that has like these blues and these yellows and these oranges. I just think of like tropical makeup and maybe it doesn't necessarily suit me, but I just like having it. Let me see if these are pearly or what their deal is. They are, they're, they're actually matte. So there it is open. I'm gonna swatch it. Um, it says brow bone, eyelid, crease. So it's actually eight pans, but it's, one effect, two effects. This is your brow bone, this is your eyelid, the crease, and this is your definer, as far as they're concerned. And on this side, brow bone, eyelid, crease, and definer. I have hooded eyes. I can't rock that look. I will look crazy. But I am eager to give some of these a whirl and see how I can wear them. I would love to send this palette to my friend um, behind the vanity and see how she wears it. And I think I'll do that. I picked up, I think, three of these. So I think I'm going to send one to behind the vanity because it's, it's a very interesting palette. 
Okay, so I did swatch it and there are the actual color swatches. I have to say it's not super pigmented. Um, it's very light and kind of natural with the exception of the um, definer, which is the black. These three are very, very light eyeshadows. Almost, you can't even see them, but I do have very light skin. So if you have dark skin, that will definitely show off on your skin better. I'll try this side to see. If I put yellow in my brow bone, people would be calling me out as crazy. I did do it once and I was made fun of, so I don't know if I'll do it again, but I'm gonna definitely swatch this palette. And there, oh wow, I love, I think I will try that one. <laughs> Even though everyone's gonna make fun of me, I'm gonna try it. I think it definitely shows up on my skin tone and I love those colors. So I think this palette is really, really nice. And for the price, it's just nice to play with. Like, I have something to try. Who knows? It might be amazing. It might be a big old thumbs down for me. But that doesn't mean it won't be a big thumbs up for someone else. This could become someone's absolute favorite palette that they use from now until the end of time. And that's what makes the thrill of the hunt so exciting at the Dollar Tree. You just never know what you're going to find that might become your absolute favorite item. There's a lot of things that I have found at the Dollar Tree that I would have never paid like nine or $10 for at Walmart. And now I absolutely love those products. So that's the thing that I love about hunting the Dollar Tree. Um, that is everything I could share with you guys today. This video is long enough. I hope you're all relaxing and having an amazing New Year's Day to set the tone for the wonderful year that we have ahead of us. I wish every single person nothing but the best who is watching this video. Please give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. And of course, share my video if you feel like doing that. That is always welcome. I do want to take a second to share with you guys, this is the back end of the unicorn. No, I'm just kidding. The back end of a package that I received from my friend Andrea, the trucker's wife loves life. So if you don't know who she is, please make sure to go and subscribe to her channel, Sight Unseen, you guys, because we have a little bit of excitement up our sleeves for you guys. Within the next few days, I plan to upload a video of this friend mail package. Ah, but this is not the surprise. The surprise is that behind the scenes, all the way in Andrea's neck of the woods, she's got something brewing over at her house. And once I upload this video with this uh, awesome friend mail that I have yet to peruse, it is open and I do see some of the items, but I can't tell everything that's in here. Once I open this up, and um, share it with you guys. I'm gonna send you over to Andrea's channel, so you have to be subscribed to her channel, and once you watch her video, she's gonna give you guys a giveaway. How awesome is that? So, stay tuned for that fun little video that's coming up in the very near future. Please go and check out Andrea, the trucker's wife loves life. She finds things in her state that never ever come to New York, and that is why I am obsessed with watching her hauls, because you just never ever know what is going to turn up at the Dollar Tree. And um, I'm so happy you guys were here with me for New Year's Day. Let's stay together for another year, and as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.